but as well as her passport and her driver's license. We have not found those last two items in particular. Now we're moving on up back to the men, 97 kilograms, Burak Kilgore. These two uh, have a pretty lengthy history, and mm -hmm. first time I remember watching them wrestle freestyle was the university finals back in, I want to say 13, where Burak was a pretty dominant winner. Yeah, and uh, Burek from Colorado Springs, Kilgore training in Colorado Springs. Right. Um, so they wrestle each other, you know, quite a bit. Um, they're, they're familiar with each other. See Coach Slay in the corner. And you know what, what, what I'm interested in? Does Kilgore bounce back after a tough U.S. Open? I mean, he had a tough U.S. Open. Don't know if he's banged up or what the situation is, uh, mentally, physically, whatever it right. may be, but he's a guy who... You know, was in the finals of this tournament last year, the best of three. Right. He won the challenge bracket. And, uh, you know, Burek, he's been making gains as well. So um, it's an interesting matchup for me early on. Definitely a size advantage for Burek. A little taller, a little bigger. And I think uh, the size played a factor in some of his matches because Kilgore's a guy that's going to shoot and shoot and shoot, going to try to get to that single leg. And uh, Burek was able to punish a lot of those attacks. Now, this was a while ago. I'm not sure if they've, they've hit since then. Burek wrestled at the University of Pennsylvania. His brother, Nathan, an All-American, two-time All-American at Iowa. Kilgore, of course, an NCAA champion mm -hmm. for Kent State. Golden Flashes. The Golden Flashes. out in Ohio, and they're gonna, that's the first warning against Burak. So Kilgore doing a good job taking ground here. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely like this pace for Kilgore. I'm seeing some fight in him that I didn't necessarily see in Las Vegas. Right, hard yeah. club there from Kilgore. And you're seeing Burak gonna try to get to that two on one. Really comfortable from that position. Looks like Burek gonna get put on the shot clock here. We are still scoreless. And you now you would kind of expect a, a low scoring match early on between two familiar foes who trained together quite a bit. Right. So six, uh, 18 seconds now, he's gonna have 10 to score here. Does Burak or he'll give up that point. Hard snaps there from Kilgore. And that'll do it, first point Going on the board for Dustin Kilgore. He'll take a 1-0 lead. Caution and one against Burak. Nice throw by Underhook from, from Burak. You know, I like the pace from Kilgore, but I also like Burak and the angles he's getting as well. You know, both guys look really sharp early on, even though we aren't seeing the offensive explosion, right? Um, but both guys battling very hard. Another single leg there from Kilgore. Not getting that angle though. And Alexis Porter has extended her lead to five two on mat three. One lone point on mat two, and that's Kilgore's. Six seconds to go here in the first. And the first is going to end 1-0 lead for Dustin Kilgore. They'll head back to their corners for a 30-second break. Brian Dolph in the corner for Micah. You see him there. Giving him some, some words of wisdom. Brandon Slay, Olympic champion. Of course, he's out there. Coaches Kilgore a lot. Out there at the OTC. Yep, Slay is the uh, 
one of the resident coaches, along with Bill Zadick. We're ready to get back to it for period number two. Got to wonder what the dynamics will be here in the second. Does someone open up? Legit shot attempts. You would think Kilgore would be the one in on the shots. Burek probably going to look to throw by or slick Kilgore with a pass by somehow. Right, Burek definitely has the advantage of the upper body ties. There's a double leg from Kilgore. Great wizard there from Burek. Clearing out now. He's got that overhook seatbelt there for Kilgore, and he's coming in taking ground. Burek doing a nice job. Now Burek getting crushed up here. Body locking. He's going to go straight out of bounds. And they blew the whistle before that uh, throw occurred. So they're going to go one red. So Kilgore extending his lead now 2-0. That also probably pretty big as far as negating a shot clock opportunity for Burak to yes. get a point on the board. Yeah, great point. seen hardly any offensive attempts, no leg attacks from Burak at this point. Right. He's going to start picking those up here, a minute 50 to go. I, I do think Kilgore's doing a good job of being physical enough. Right. He's throwing Burak off balance a little bit, and he's you know, battling very hard in the tie-ups and controlling the center. And he's keeping a low position, too. Keeping those elbows tight, preventing Burak from getting under hooks. to go now. You gotta wonder five minutes in if you know we're just seeing Kilgore control things all the way through, wire to wire. He's gonna control the tie-ups and not even allow Burek a chance to get something off. And this speaks to the, the development, continued development of Dustin Kilgore being uh, a little more risk averse where he would just shoot and shoot and shoot and uh, sometimes he could shoot himself out of matches. Now we're seeing him executing a game plan and uh, you know, really, it's a two-zero. But it's been a lopsided two-zero. Right. Now there's there's danger there because he won two and he's losing. But uh, by the same token, he's really controlled every aspect of it. At the World Championships this year in Las Vegas, if you're interested, please contact National Coaches Education Program Manager Mike Clayton for more information. Three, two, and one. Kilgore gonna take it. Two zero. Yeah, Plays nice. Close to the vest and wins. Nice wire to wire win for Kilgore. He will face Jake Varner in the semifinals. A rematch of last year's best of three finals won by Varner. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. Has Kilgore made some gains? 